masih. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It is currently Wednesday and I am taking you along with me on my day today. So I thought I'd do a day of my life for this week's video. So I'm just gonna vlog today and take you along with me, show you what I'm getting up to. So it is currently still Easter break. I have this week and next week left and then I'm going back to London to train again. So because it's a holiday, I'm not actually doing any proper ballet classes. I'm just doing my own thing and keeping up with Pilates and stretching. Mouse is currently sniffing at the camera. She's behind the camera, I'll show you in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm not actually currently doing ballet classes, so I thought I'd just show you what I usually get up to. I'm just gonna do a little mini workout this morning and some stretching and a bit of Pilates and leave it at that, because obviously it's the holiday. I also have an essay that I have to write for my degree because I'm actually on a degree course. So I'm gonna be doing that a bit later on as well and just get outside, go for a walk hopefully. So I'll bring you along to that also. So this morning I've already had my breakfast, which is my usual go-to, and that is a smoothie bowl with strawberries and bananas and blueberries. And I've been loving that all through lockdown. I'm now also gonna start my morning journaling. This notebook I actually love. I got it in the first lockdown and it's from a brand called Choosing Keeping. I will link their website down below. They have a shop actually in London, but I got this online during the first quarantine and I love it. It's got this amazing print on it and I just think it's amazing. They're all like handmade and I just love their notebooks. I have so many of them and the paper inside is just so nice. So I'm actually going to journal quickly this morning, just write some goals for the day and how I'm feeling, maybe a bit of gratitude and yeah, just whatever I feel, that's what I usually do. So I'll get on with this now and then I'm going to do a quick workout and a stretch and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Mouse loves sitting on the windowsill here and looking over. <laughs> Looking out at everyone who's out there. She's so nosy. About to show you something a little bit embarrassing. Promise you are not. Click off this video. Bum, bum, bum. It's out of focus. Wait for it. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, please tell me someone else just does this because I mean, this is bad. That is not cute, is it? So, I'm going to put you here and you can enjoy me putting all of these clothes away. gonna follow one of one of Olivia D'Andrea's stretch videos because sometimes um especially like in the holidays I just get a bit distracted when I'm stretching and I just like sit there and get a bit distracted so sometimes it's good to follow a video because I can just get it done quickly and just like follow it and then I don't just sit there in between stretches and like I don't even know, what, I don't even think about anything, I just sit there and, and it's not productive so I'm going to follow a stretching video and then I can get it done quicker so <sighs> that's next on the agenda today.
this is what stretching at home during quarantine is like. Animals everywhere. So I now have to get some work done for this upcoming essay that's due in a few weeks for college. Not fun, but part of it. So recently I've actually been using the Pomodoro method when I've been working especially in things that I'm not like enjoying. So basically it's this method of working where you basically set a timer for 25 minutes. You work solidly for those 25 minutes without distractions and then you get a five minute break at the end and you do it in four sets and then you get a longer break at the end so I have been doing this and I've actually found that I've been actually doing a lot more work than I usually do and I've not been getting distracted on my phone if someone messages me or I just found that I've got a lot more work done doing this method so if you find yourself procrastinating a lot I definitely recommend trying out this method um so I have my timer here so I'm going to set for 25 minutes and then work solidly so I'm gonna work for 25 minutes now and then have a quick five minute break I've actually also been listening to lo-fi study recently so I've just been listening to the lo-fi study live stream that just it just goes on and on and on so it's it never stops and I don't know I've just been struggling to work in silence so I've actually been finding this really helpful as well so um yeah those are just my two tips for anyone that's struggling to get work done during this time I just feel like I can't work in silence and it's been helping so I'd recommend that so I'm gonna get some work done now and then I will check in with you later So I've been working at my desk now for a bit, so I'm gonna go and make myself a coffee and have a little coffee break. It's now about 2, 2.30 and I literally cannot face doing any more work. So I've come upstairs and I'm just going to show you a parcel that I got in the post today. I just wanted to show you the point shoes that I'm currently wearing. I ordered another pair just so that I can sew one pair and have a pair like brand new ready for going back to London in a few weeks. Um, just so that I can have a pair waiting. I've been kind of going back and forth trying to figure out the right width because London actually don't have a store where you can buy these shoes. There aren't any Russian points anywhere in London so it is difficult to find these in person. So I've had to order online. I've been really enjoying the Russian point Rubin Radiance shoes. This is what they look like. They're a really nice shoe. They already have suede tips which is really helpful for darning because you don't have to darn because they're like suede and I just really like them I feel like they're really nice and slim lined but currently these are my favorites and these are the ones that I found that are most comfortable and I've not actually danced in the studio in them so I'm yet to do that maybe I'll get an update in a few weeks time when I'm actually in the studio but 
for dancing at home and what I've been doing at home, they have been really nice. So I didn't know that Russian Point have the Rubens and they also have the Rubin Radiance. And these are the Rubin Radiance that I've been wearing, but I also have the Rubens. Sorry, this is like tongue twister. But basically the Rubens were the originals and there were a lot of complaints about like how hard the shoe was and about the noise and the sole like here was actually quite thick. You can see this is actually really slim line. So they're actually really nice to dance in because they're not too thick. You can kind of feel the floor more. And the Rubens, they're downstairs unfortunately so I can't actually show you the comparison but it's much thicker and kind of domed so really hard to balance in them when you're like standing flat. So there are actually quite a few complaints about the Rubens. People love them but there were also like quite a few issues that they didn't enjoy. And so they made the Radiant that are practically the same as the Rubin but they're an updated version. This is much nice, much nicer and flat. They have the nice suede tips which the Rubens don't and they're much softer so they break in quite easily. I really like them so far. I've not actually tried the Rubens, I do have them downstairs which need to be sewn. It's nice to be able to mix and match between the Rubens and the Rubin Radiance for say if you have a really turn heavy solo or variation or just something where you need a harder shoe then the Rubens are perfect. But then if you want to do something more lyrical or somewhere where you just like to go through the foot more then the Radiance are great. So that is the point shoe chap, this is what I'm currently wearing and I really like them. I think they're actually really pretty as well so that is the update i actually need to sew these and then i will have them for when i go back to london so we're actually going to now head for a quick walk we're going to take mouse to a local park just to get some fresh air so i will bring you along with me and picked up a few bits in Infinity Foods and picked up a quick Costa and now we're about to order a Nando's for dinner and I'll show you when that arrives. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll just journal before bed and then probably get to sleep at around 11 o'clock. That's the usual. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week for another video.